Final topic. Uh, we have to keep it brief. Only have about two minutes or so. I was watching last night the Klassiker. So Dortmund taking on Bayern Munich. Bayern won. One individual stood out because he's been in the news. It'd be David Alaba. Rumours are that he doesn't want to stay at the club or he hasn't been able to come to an agreement, at least, with Bayern. Should Liverpool try to get him, Danny? Could he help solve their, their, their issues? I mean, it's not too long until the transfer window opens. 50-ish, 55 days or so. Well, in terms of his ability, he absolutely fits. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a super player. Um, I suppose what you'd have to be looking at from Jurgen Klopp's perspective is the balance of the squad moving forward when everyone's fit. Um, or you just look short term and get the best option in possible, which would be him. I mean, I, I would be I would be wanting to do it personally. You can't have enough good players. Um, but linking I think up with Thiago competition. and re-linking up yeah. with Thiago. Yeah, yeah. I think he would certainly add quality and strength in depth. But there'll be a lot of people to so there'll be a lot of takers for Alaba. Jamal. I'm just trying to work out what system they would play if he was in the side. I mean. It... <laughs> Because <laughs> he is a phenomenal player. I mean, watching him uh, in the, the Champions League and, yeah, scary, scary going forward. Of course, Liverpool would want him. I think, uh, alongside what Danny said there, there would be uh, that top six of English clubs would want him if he was available. Um, but it's what you do once you've got him. And I think, again, these short-term fixes have long-term consequences because you end up pushing someone further down the line. Um, you're not going to sign him for two minutes. You're going to sign him for a long term. And it's whether it fits into the Liverpool plan. Because one thing Liverpool have been very good at is their recruitment over the... Sort of essentially since uh, Klopp took over. Um, so if they weren't thinking about him before his his want to move on, then he wouldn't be a, a, one of their targets for sure, even if he became available. All right. Well, it's a bit of a, a unique position for Liverpool and Jurgen Klopp. You think over the last two, three seasons, they've hardly had any serious injuries, barring mm -hmm. Alisson for a month or two <clears throat> and then Adrian having to step in. So new territory. We'll see how they react in January, whether they are going to bring someone in, particularly seeing Trent Alexander-Arnold uh, getting injured in this game as well.